we're going to talk really briefly about the setup for you to carve the big stones for the prayer wall. Um, so we're going to be working with these foam panels and yours are going to be probably quite a bit larger than this. Um, but this is what we had. So um, you are going to want something to put them on. So either saw horses or I remember last time we had just garbage cans that we put things on. Um, if you have to work inside, if you own a respirator, you want to use a respirator. Don't use anyone else's respirator. Um, in order to clean it, you're just going to take an alcohol wipe and wipe out the inside. I'm not going to use it because I can't talk with it, and I'm outside. Okay, we are back again with the hot knife. Um, if you watched the other video, you remember that the electric current goes through the hot knife and you have to pull the trigger for it to heat up the blade. Um, before I cut, I want to make sure that the, the blade gets nice and hot. So I'm gonna hold the button for a little bit first. Um, if you look at the knife, you can tell there's one side that sort of has a sharp edge. That's the, the way you wanna move forward. So what we're gonna do first on your foam pieces is just we're just gonna sort of uh, bevel the edge a little bit. The stones would not have had this really clean straight edge so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that. Um, you can start at the end or you can start wherever it doesn't really matter but I want a pretty sharp angle and as you can see the knife just cuts right through that. As you're cutting, you kind of want to have some variety. You don't want it to be exactly smooth and flat. But you don't necessarily want to go all the way to the inside. This is going to set against the plywood wall. You don't want to get that deep with your blade. So that's the first step in creating a nice beveled, eight, beveled edge on the side of your stones. Some of them you can leave just like this and then you'll add sawdust to the paint in order to create sort of a nice rough stony texture. Um, on some of them we're going to, if you look at the research pictures, there's some deep cuts that are in some of the stones that are really um, weathered. So we're going to do some of them with the hot knife to help create sort of that weathered, um, it's almost like rain was dripping over them um, and it was just how the limestone weathered. So I'm just going to come in and sort of try to make it look sort of natural. I don't like those really sharp edges, so I'm going to come back in and weather that down a little bit. Come from the other side.
that's a nice sort of weathered look that you can get on some of the blocks.